Hi everyone and welcome to Football Therapists. To, today I'm going to analyze the natty of Murat Yakin, coach who succeeded Vladimir Petkovic after the Euro 2020, or better say 2021. Uh, Under his leadership, Switzerland won a direct ticket to the World Cup as they finished first in their in their qualifying group uh, ahead of Italy. Exactly. Against whom Yakin's men deservedly drew two times. Therefore, without further ado, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna un, I'm going to analyze in detail this new national uh, this new Swiss national team in, in different chapters. Let's start uh, with a relatively symbolic sequence, since the return to uh, form and defense is the big change operated by Yakin since his arrival. Speaking of structure, this one is very clear without the ball. It's uh, 4-1-4-1 with a deep-lying midfielder. Uh, here, Zakaria, who's very comfortable at recovering balls. And this midfielder is in, in charge of intervening between the two Swiss defensive lines. And there's also another player who's not part of these two lines of four. The top striker uh, here, Okafor, who stays higher and closer to the various opponent defenders and, and midfielders, who therefore always have to, to check that he's not coming to press them. But this more detached posi position is especially, especially useful when trying to attack uh, quickly afterwards. And that's precisely what what uh, what what happened uh, in the sequence ball recovery then pass to Shakiri and uh, this is made possible because Okafor went directly forward to to bring down the Italian defense uh, uh, because as he occupied several players there's now space for the Swiss to go up we see that even after the pass to to Shakiri the Italians don't go on to him but continue to to run forward uh, towards the the own goal eventually uh, the ball will get to to Uck four who uh, stretches the italian defense uh, very well uh, to make himself uh, available and that's that's good timing as in my opinion he deserves here an, a mini analy analysis during what's going to be the, the end of this sequence since he's a bit of a new face in the Natty and he surely will be key at the World Cup given that his speed to get deep and his ability to press and counter press make him the only the only player in the squad who who can play anywhere in attack I would say. But what makes him even, what makes him even more atypical for a Swiss player is his ability to, to dribble, which we're going to be able to <laughs> admire now, because yes, he is going to dribble here, um, and that's something to be noted, because he has no one to play within, uh, with in, in front of him, and there are a lot of Italian players in the area, so most of the strikers, even with his qualities, would surely have played quietly backwards, but not him, because he's confident in his abilities, and he's right. He, he is right there. He says that he still has a, a good space in which to play. That is why he's going to cut inside. And here I have the impression that he's doing a feint. Uh, his posture makes you think he's going to, to cross or, or change sides. Meaning um, the, the defender here doesn't ex expect a, a Kefort to go on to, to go to the middle. Uh, you can see he's standing straight, uh, by the way. But Okafor does uh, is going to to cut inside, and thanks to his speed and agility, he's going to be able, with his bad foot, uh, to to get a very good shot. Uh, another of his qualities. And uh, now I'll let you appreciate. That's it. After this individual focus, let's get back to to something more collective and say that Switzerland, without the ball, um, likes to hinder their opponent and push push him to make mistakes. Sometimes they do it in a more aggressive way with a pressure that is still uh, perfectible, though, because when this 4-1-4-1 structure is deformed, there's more space in front of the of the Swiss defense to exploit for the opponent. 
since you can sometimes see the, the, the defensive midfielder forgetting to, to protect his zone uh, correctly. Here we have uh, Fabian Frey, but also um, uh, right, right winger uh, Renato Stefan, who, who leave too much, uh, who are leaving too much space for Insignia to receive the ball, even though he's the Italian player to watch out for uh, between the lines. I'll let you have a look, it's very short. But this player between the lines can also uh, be another striker or, or a midfielder in this case. Locatelli with Insigne um, stre uh, stretching the, the Swiss uh, defensive line um, on, on the sides this time and, and forcing, uh, for, forcing therefore right back Widmer to, to maintain that position. Here Fabian Frey again has to, has to keep a better eye on, on this player between the lines but it is true that he, are, he also has to, to be told to. Akanji could have warned him, uh, for example, for example, rather than going out himself on, uh, onto the player uh, afterwards. Uh, because this creates a, a huge space for Insigne to go in behind, which he is going to exploit uh, to create effect, but could also have been Berardi who was well positioned uh, to go in behind as well. So uh, I'll let you enjoy Insigne's magnificent run here. So that was it for the small defensive defects that need to be corrected but you'll see that all the Swiss players that I mentioned regarding these problems, uh, we will find them positively in the following sequences that, that I'm going to show you. Because Switzerland really has very uh, very good players. In fact, the, the squad is even getting better and better as the years go by. And this can be seen in their ability to, to build up from the block, uh, even if it's not new that Denis Zakaria is very good at breaking the, the opponent pressure by dribbling or simply uh, by playing with his body and that that is that's not new either that summer's footwork uh, facilitates things enormously the Borussia mentioned Gladbach goalkeeper is the one who who starts the the sequence I've chosen precisely he first um, calls out to Frey with uh, a hand gesture showing him that he will there to 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 pass the ball to to him in spite of the of the Italian pressure and a rather restricted angle. Um, after a quick glance behind him, Fry is going to drop. Now I let you watch, and he's noticing here that the right back is is free, uh, even if you can't see him on the screen. So he's going to to pass the ball to him. A pass that will be facilitated but by the other Swiss midfielder highlighted on the screen, Michael Ebicher, who is going to make a, a run forward uh, and, and thus attract the, the Italian marking him to, to create room for the pass. This is the next part of the sequence, it's coming now. And I'm already posing here again to show you the, the current structure of Nati uh, when building up from the back since we, we can finally see the forwards uh, as well and it's precisely about the, the position that I, I'd like to, to briefly talk. You can see that these four are relatively close um, together and all in the inside which allows several things. Having so many players in the same area allows them to, to have a, a good chance of, a good chance of Getting the ball, getting the ball back should Summer play long, because there would be a lot of people out there for the so-called second ball. But this structure also allows to put pressure on the opponent defense should they get the ball. Then this structure also forces the Italian defenders to position themselves in in the inside as well, meaning the Swiss will then be able to. Uh, possibly be able to, to exploit the large free spaces on the sides to attack quickly and that is what they are going to do here with Stefan. Now let's see this. The action won't end up being uh, successful but we can see here that this structure at, at the restart uh, allows that this, this structure at the 
at the uh, at the big level of Switzerland to 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 attack quickly and even in numerical superiority because here if the level if the left winger was more reactive, we would have a, a five against four, given that Michael Ebisch joined the attack as well, which is actually very common with uh, Switzerland's midfielders. Now, well, in the following sequence, you can notice that this midfielder, the same midfielder, Michael Ebisch, is further forward in in the striker zone to to form this accumulation of Offensive players in the middle. This frees up the the sides so that the the foot the fullbox can can get up and, and cross. Um, because there will be plenty of people in in the box with this accumulation of, of players in the center. Um, another advantage of this po positioning. Before letting you watch the sequence, though, uh, it is necessary to to explain that not all teams who take advantage of this accumulation of, of players because. As you will see, as you're going to see here, you need a certain quality to combine in in small in small spaces if you want to to make the team move forward in in this config in this configuration. So across with plenty of players in the middle of the area. There's still one more aspect to mention in this part about the the construction from the from the defense, which is the almost usual pass that. That Switzerland uh, uses to advance, to progress. I could have chosen several video extracts, but I only took um, I only took one because that should be enough. And also, otherwise, remember uh, having seen this pass on the right flank, but on the left side, it really is very common. Now, you first have to to imagine though this this offensive structure from from the south because. You can't see the strikers on, on the screen, knowing this, knowing that left winger Ruben Vargas is just behind the, the spot I, I created on the far right uh, of the screen. What I've highlighted here is left back uh, Ricardo Rodriguez going up. Uh, you can see it by, by his crossed legs, which, which draws uh, Chiesa towards him. The latter then abandons the inside of the game. Uh, of the field, he's turned uh, towards Rodriguez, as you as you can see, meaning that Vargas will will have enough enough space to to receive a superb pass from from Akanji, uh, the main quality of the Borussia Dortmund defender. Let you uh, enjoy it. Yet, yeah. yes, now it's coming. Great pass, and. We can now see that the situation was not only made possible by Rodriguez's walk, but also by the accumulation of strikers in the inside, since Okafo was, was also key as he occupied the, the right back and, and the right center back who, who could have gone on to Vargas otherwise, while uh, this, while Shakiri stayed up front. Okafor had again the very good reflex to, to move forward very quickly to create space for, for Vargas in, in front uh, in front of him, allowing therefore the Swiss to progress. This single situation of passing to, to the left winger between the lines, I really found it several times while while watching the different games of Fiac in Switzerland. However, this pass is not really possible against low blocks, uh, as I didn't see it against Bulgaria, for example. Well, in these situations uh, against low blocks, Switzerland, Switzerland have another uh, weapon that I have to mention, Sheridan Shakiri. His presence is key in these kinds of, of games because he's able to to turn around very quickly with the ball and deliver uh, very accurate through balls uh, into so, in small spaces. Uh, I let you enjoy the, the following four short illustrations. It, it goes very quickly. Wonder, wonderful pass towards Widmer, another beautiful run from Widmer, and here is turning one touch and he's already turned. So, well, the central strikers like Mbolo, uh, a very important player, but a uh, very important player, but also Seferovic and Eaton will 
obviously then have to score the, the crosses that follow these wonderful passes from Shakiri, but I, I'm not too worried about that. They are good at, at finishing when they when they want. Otherwise, uh, that's it for this analysis video. There will be others on different teams of, of the World Cup that, that I find interesting, as as there will be also as the, as there will also be from time to time videos on Swiss teams or, or Swiss players, as it is my country and I want to make you discover it through through football. If you're interested, uh, I then invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as to my Twitter and Instagram accounts in, in order for you to not miss it. And if you have enjoyed this this video, uh, you, you can you can give me a like, um, drop me a like, tell me tell me in the comments tell tell me it in in the comment sections and uh, and share the video. It it would help me a lot. Uh, a lot more than, than you think. Ciao. Bye.